Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi Wa man wala Amma ba'du And we've reached Surah Al-Nazi'at Surah Al-Nazi'at Naza'a Means To Snatch Or to pull something Naza'a Is to snatch or to pull So here Nazi'a, Nazi' would be the one who does it, right? The one who does it. And Nazi'at would be the feminine plural here. Nazi'at, Surah to Nazi'at, Mudaf Mudaf Ilay with a Kasra there, right? Surah to Nazi'at, the Surah of, here it says the divestors. In this translation I have here, I have no idea. Let me give me a second. I'll look at the Noble Quran. See what it says. I have no idea how you would translate it. And this is the difficulty of translation. Uh, those who pull out. I don't know. Those who pull out. Maybe. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah begins. Wal-Nazi'at. Wal-Nazi'ati gharqa. As we said, Nazi'at comes from Noon zay ain, meaning to snatch something or to withdraw it with force, right? To withdraw it or take it with force, right? Naza'a. Nazi'a is your fa'il, right? The one doing it. And then this is Nazi'a feminine for the tamarbuta. And then we want to make it plural, we add an alif. Nazi'at. So here we are. Those who pull out. Those who snatch out with force. Qarqa. Qarqa. It's of course from Gain Ra Qaf. Meaning to uh, drown. To drown. To go down deep into. To plunge into. To drown. And we'll explain it in a second what, what it means. What the Ayat as a whole means when Nashi thought he Nash thought when Nashi thought from noon Sheen thought and again this is the file and becoming uh, feminine and plural is to pull something out gently to pull something out gently so these two ayat are referring to the angels in fact the first five ayat are referring to the angels Allah is swearing Wanaziati Garqa by those angels who snatch out right Garqa here it says in a plunge in the noble Quran it says those who pull out with great violence and it means it has the meaning of and we know from a hadith that the soul of the disbeliever the soul of the disbeliever doesn't want to be taken. It does not want to be taken. And so they have to like comb that soul out of the person like the like a fork or a rake going through cotton. Right? Like it just snatches and it pulls it. And, it, and the reason is that the soul is going down into the body like it's trying to hide. And then the angels have to snatch it and pull it out with force. And so this is the reason for the garqa, that it is doing so, that they have to dive deep in to get the soul and snatch it out. When nashi tati nashta, and those who pull out a gentle pulling, meaning the souls of the believers, the souls of the believers who come out, like they say, like water coming out from the nose or something. They just pull it out easily. It comes out willingly. So when Naziati Garqa are those angels who take the souls with force. When Nashi Tati Nashta are those angels which take the souls with ease and gentleness. And again, this wa is either a wow al qasam or it is a wow of harf atf. Either way, it's the same. If we say if it's a harf atf, then it is still going back to this first wa, which is a qasam, a oath. So we're swearing by those angels, right? And if we say it's another harf qasam or wa qasam, 
then no problem, inshallah ta'ala. The same thing. Wasabihati sabaha. From seen ba ha. Seen ba ha. The same words as subhanallah. But here, sabaha means to swim. Sabaha means to swim. Or sabiha is to swim. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Means to swim. And those who swim a swimming, right? And this is hard to translate. As you know, the maf'ul mutlaq is hard to translate. Those who swim across the skies are doing this swimming. Meaning, they are swimming. They are swimming in the sky like people swim in the water. And they're doing so to carry out the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. They're doing so to carry out the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. The relationship between sabaha to swim and Sabaha or tasbih, the saying glorified Allah, subhanAllah, is the person who knows how to swim can save himself from drowning. And the person who glorifies Allah will save himself from the hellfire. So this is a relationship as brought to us by, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, Al-Bayhaqi in his tafsir, Al-Bayhaqi. In his tafsir, he brings this point. Right? Fasabiqati sabaqa from seen ba qaf. Again, this becomes the file. Sabiq, just like sabih. Sabiq becomes the file, then it becomes feminine and plural. Again, swearing by the angels, the angels who race one another. Who race one another. That's like we have the word musabaqa, a competition or a race. Fasabiqati sabaqa. And those who race and go ahead of one another. Meaning, they, they run to fulfill the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. They could be either to fulfill the commands that Allah has here on the earth. Or it could be they're racing with the souls of the dead people. Right? To take them to Allah for questioning. Where we know that the soul is either turned back to the earth or it is accepted. Falmudabbirati amra. And those who mudabbirati from dal ba ra meaning to arrange. Like the word mudabbir. Allah is al mudabbir. He is the arranger of affairs. Falmudabbirati amra. And those angels which arrange and carry out the commands amr the command and the affair if allah wants it to rain they make it rain right they they bring the clouds they drive the clouds for rain if allah, if allah wants this then they do that they're doing whatever allah tells them to do what naziati gharqa those angels who snatch out the souls with force when nashitati nashta and those angels who take it take the souls with gentleness and ease was sabihati sabaha and those angels who swim in the sky doing whatever Allah told them to fasabiqati sabaqa and those angels who and those angels who race to fulfill the command of Allah fal mudabbirati amra and those who carry out these commands whether they like we said they be something related to the dunya or the deen any questions about these five ayat Yoma Tarjufu Rajifa. Yoma is the day or a day. Tarjufu Tarjufu from Rajafa. Ra Jim Fa. And Rajafa means to convulse or to quake. To quake, to convulse, to shake. Right? Yoma, and it's a verb here. Tarjufu, the shaking, arrajifa. Arrajifa is that which shakes. And here, the tafsir tells us that this is the first blowing of the trumpet. When the trumpet will blow, and the whole of the earth shakes, and the mountains begin to crumble to dust, it causes everything to die. This first blowing of the trumpet, which will cause everything to die. The mountains are going to shake. The earth is going to do this. The mountains are going to become like carded wool and so on, right? All of these descriptions that we have. This is 
يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الرَّاجِفَةِ الرَّاجِفَةِ Here the shaking, the thing which causes the convulsing. This is the blowing of the trumpet. فَالسَّابِقَ uh, No. تَتْبَعُهَا الرَّادِفَةِ تَتْبَعُهَا From تَبَعَيْن Meaning to follow. Like the word تَابِعِي Or the تَابِعِين تَابِعُون Like this. تَتْبَعُهَا It follows it. الرَّادِفَةِ Ar-radifa follows it. Ar-radifa comes from ra dal fa, and ra dal fa means something which follows it right away. That which follows it. We know that the Prophet sallallahu he had Ibn Abbas riding with him on his donkey radifan, radifan, meaning he was riding directly behind him on his donkey. Radifin, meaning it was right directly behind him. And he's sitting on the same saddle with him behind him. This is the meaning of Radifa, that which follows up directly afterwards. And this is the second blowing of the trumpet. This is the second blowing of the trumpet. Tatba'uha Radifa. That the second blowing is going to follow, and that is when the people will be resurrected. Right? That is when the people will be resurrected. قلوب يومئذ واجفة قلوب the plural of قلب right the hearts right يومئذ is a contraction of يوم and إذ right it's a contraction meaning on that day واجفة واجفة from wow جيم فا wow جيم فا meaning to become agitated excited Shaking out of nervousness. Kulubun yoma idin wajifa. Right? The hearts will be nervous on that day. They will be shaking. They will be nervous. Right? Excited. Agitated. Yoma idin. On that day. Abasaruha. From basad ra. From the word to see. Right? Absar. Absar is. Their their eyes or their vision, their vision uh, or their eyes. It can be translated as, but it means their vision. Absaruha khashia from khashin ain, meaning to be fearful, right? But khashia khashia or khushur comes with knowledge. It's not the fear of a kafir of this day, right? But the fear of knowledge. So even the kuffar who are seeing this, they're going to have these hearts khashia. They're going to be humble and humiliated. Their vision is going to be downcast. It's going to be humiliated because of what they are seeing, of what they did, and the and when they were alive, that they are now going to be held accountable for it since they are being resurrected. So their vision is going to be cast down and humiliated because of this. Right? Yaquluna. They will say, Yaquluna. From Qala Yaqulu. A inna la marduduna fil hafira. A is a question. Right? A is a question and then inna. Right? But here, here it's written with just the Hamza because of the one in front of it. And that's how it was chose to written. But we could have said A inna. Right? It could be the same thing. This is just how. Uthman had it written during his time. A'inna without the alif there. Right? Or indeed we la marduduna the lamb is a harf tokid is emphasis. Marduduna from rad to be returned to return to reject but here to return. La marduduna are we going to be returned? Fil hafira Fil hafira. Now this is interesting because the word hafira, hafara, hafara means the way it, it comes from the word to have a hole in the ground. So we say, okay, this is easy. It's coming from the grave, the word grave. And this is the tafsir that Ibn Kathir rahimahullah brings. That is the graves. But this word hafira that comes from there, I don't know how we get it, but the word hafira means the original state of affairs. 
and it's as it was in the beginning, its origin. But the word hafar or hafra means a hole in the ground, a, a, a ditch. So it can have both meanings here. Yaquluna, they will say, Ainna la marduduna fil hafira. Are we going to return to our original state? So the way that we were in in the life before our bones became decayed and all that, aida kunna idam and nakhira, when we used to be bones that were decay, decayed and turned into dust, that's the meaning of the next sentence. Or it could be, are we going to return basically fil hafira, right? Fil hafira, meaning when we were coming out la marduduna fil hafira, are we going to return to uh, from our graves. Let me read what Ibn Kathir Rahimahullah says real quick, inshallah. He says, uh, where is it at? Hmm. One second. Uh, he, they translated in the Noble Quran, shall we be brought back from Al Hafira? Right, meaning that they were that after the, that they were in their graves, after they were in the hafira, and he says that this is the meaning of the graves here, right? Then this then we will return after that, and this is something far fetched. So <clears throat> both meanings are found in the ayah. Number one, hafira means original state affairs, and hafira means the grave. So we will be brought back after being in our graves. La marduduna fil hafira. Will we be brought back after being in the graves? Like there's something missed after fil hafira, being in the graves. So both of the tafsirs are inside the ayat. Aida, a is a question word, right? Either, uh, either when kunna we were idaman bones. Idam is bones. Idam is bones, right? Idam is bones. Nakhira from noon, khara means to be decayed or rotten and worm eaten. To be eaten by worms and turning into dust and rotten like this. Decayed, right? And we were decayed bones, we were rotten bones, and then we'll return from this, right? Qalu, they say, Qalu, they say, Tilka, that, I then, therefore, like then, then, I then, then, or when, or then, therefore, Karratun Khasira. Karra, Karra is, Karra is a return. A return, Kaf Ra. You look it up under Kaf Ra. The Tamarabuta is extra when looking it up. A return to come back once again. Karratun khasira from in al insana lafi khusr. Mankind is in a loss. That is a a return which is a losing return. That is a return of loss. When we return that day, it will be a return of loss. Why? Right? Why? Because they didn't used to believe in Allah. They didn't use la yarjuna. Fil hisab. They didn't used to hope for the reward for the day of accounting, right? Fa inna mahiya zajratun wahida. Fa is so, or therefore inna ma shows only shows something uh, restricted. It is only here. It is zajra. Zajra is a piercing blast, a blast with a piercing sound to it. Zajratun wahida, meaning the second blowing of the trumpet. It's only going to happen. That's it. Allah doesn't need to do anything else to recreate you. Allah doesn't need to do any other actions to recreate you. Rather, He's just going to have that trumpet blown one time and you're going to come back. And that's it. Inna mahiya zajratun wahida. It's only one blast, one piercing blast. Fa'idahum. Bisahira. Fa is therefore or then either then they are either whom Bisahira Sahira comes from 
sa arsin ha ra. And it has the meaning of staying up all night. The root of this word has the meaning of staying up all night. Right? However, the meaning here is an open plain. Sahira. And here's why. There's a reason for it. Sahira is an open plain. When the mountains have become dust and they are no longer there. They are now on the, the earth will be one level plain. There will not be any ditches, no valleys, nor will there be mountains or hills. It will be one flat earth. And it's called Sahira, this open plain, because this is what the, the Arabs, when they used to travel, this open place where there would be no mountains and there would be no uh, uh, shade. Because, like, you know, if there's mountains, then when you travel, there could be shade next to you, right? As well as if there are houses, there could be shade and people to seek refuge. But this open plain, this open plain where there's no mountains, nothing, it's hard to travel across, they would cross it at night. They would cross it at night so that it would become easy for them. So therefore, it's called Sahira, right? Then that day they'll be on this open plain, right? Fa'idha hum bisahira. Allah will resurrect us with that zajratun wahida, with that one piercing blast. Fa'idha hum bisahira, and then they will be on this flat open plain. Any questions? No. Tayyab. Let's read up until ayat 26, the meanings of it, because uh, that's another, we'll stop there, inshallah. Hal ataka hadithu Musa. Hal is a question word, like a, uh, right? Is a question word, like a. Uh. Has there come ataka from ata, right? Ata to come, ataka, come to you. Has there come to you hadithu Musa, hadith. The, the 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 story here means the story of Musa, the news about Musa. Has there come to you the story or the news of Musa? Right? If Nadahu Rabbuhu Bilwadil Mukaddasi Tua When his Lord when his Lord is when Nada, and we had this word before from the word noon, dal, alif maksura or ya, nada, nida, the call, nadahu, nadahu, when his Lord called him, rabbuhu, when his Lord called him, bilwad, wad, is a valley, it is a valley, right, in between the mountains is a valley, a low place, his Lord called him, bilwadil muqaddis. Muqaddis coming from Qaf da, Dal Sin, right? Meaning something which is sa sacred or sanctified. Muqaddis, like maybe the word holy, right? Muqaddas here, not Muqaddis, Muqaddas. Bilwadil Muqaddas. The Maf'ulun Bihi, it's the, on the form, not Maf'ulun Bihi, but Maf'ul. It's on the form of being the Maf'ul, not the Fa'il. Muqaddas, it is. It is described as being sacred, right? Yes, it's connected to the word masjid quds. Yes, but it's not here the masjid. No, bil wadil muqaddas with the sacred valley of wa the sacred valley tuwa called tuwa. Tuwa is the valley. Tuwa is the name of the valley. Bil wadil muqaddas in the sacred valley of Tua, when your Lord called him, in the, when his Lord called him in the sacred valley of Tua, he said, Idhab. Tua was uh, the, the mountains. No. Tua, uh, 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 when, uh Tur. Uh, Tur is the mountains. Uh, Tua is the name of the valley. You had Turi Sinin, that's mountains, right? And Muqaddas Tuwa is in the place of Turi Sinin. 
but that's not related here. But yes, it's related because it's in that area. But linguistically, Tua is the name of the valley. Tur is the mountain. This is at the place of Sinin. Wadi al Muqaddis Tua is the place of Sinin. It's the place of Tur Sinin, no doubt. But this is Tur Sinin, right? The mountain. And this is Muqaddas. This is Wadi Tua. This is the Wad and this is the Tur. You understand? No. He told him, Idhab, go as a command. Go. Ila Fir'aun. Go to Fir'aun. Innahu Taga. Indeed he transgressed. Innahu. Indeed he Taga. He transgressed. We've had this word, Taga, from Tagut. Lit Tagina. Right? Taga. Indeed he transgressed. Faqul, so say to him, Faqul, he's telling, Allah is telling Musa, Qul, say, Hal laka ila an tazakka. Hal is a question word, right? Laka is for you, right? For you, illa an tazakka. To that, this is a complicated uh, uh, sentence here, and I don't know how. Uh, to really make sense of the words which seem to be in a in a strange order here. But Ila is towards and is that tazakka that you purify yourself. Halaka illa and tazakka. Why is it in that order? I can't I can't tell you why the Arabs wrote the sentence in that order or why Allah is a gel spoke the sentence in that order and I and I know this is the speech of Allah not the speech of the Arabs however why is this word order acceptable halaka is it for you is it for you illa and tazakka that you purify yourself I I I don't know why that that order is there but that's the meaning is it are you willing to are you willing to purify yourself Right? Are you willing to become purified? Halaka illa and tazakka wa ahdiyaka illa rabbika fatakhsha wa ahdiyaka. And that I guide you. Ahdi. Ahdi. Meaning I guide. From the word huda. Ahdiyaka. I guide you. Illa rabbika. To your Lord. Fatakhsha. And so you fear. So you have this khushua, this khashya of him. Right? So that you fear him. Shall I guide you to your Lord so that you can fear him? Fa'arahu al-ayat al-kubara. So fa'arahu. Ara is form four. Form four of ra'a. Ra'a is to see. Ara is to show. To show someone. Right? Fa'arahu. So he showed him. Al ayat al kubra. He showed him the great ayat. The great ayat. And some people say that this is the his asa, his stick becoming the snake. Some people say that this great sign is his hand in his in his uh, coming out of his toe becoming white. Allahu alam. But the great sign, he showed it to him. Fa'arahu al ayat al kubra. He showed him the great sign. Fa'kadhaba wa asa. Fa'kadhaba. So he denied it. Right? As we said, form two of kaf dal ba. This kadhiba means to lie. Kadhaba means to deny something. To be lie it. To deny it. Fa'kadhaba wa asa. So he denied it and he disobeyed. He disobeyed. Right? Like the word ma'asi or ma'asiya. He disobeyed. Thumma and then adbara. Form four of dal ba Meaning to turn away. Fa adbara. Right? Adbar. Your dubar. The dubar is the backside. Right? So adbara meaning to turn around. And show someone your backside and go away. Fa'adbara. So he turned away. Wa yasa. Yasa coming from seen ain ya. Meaning to put forth effort. 
meaning he yes I he strove he strove basically in his disbelief he put in effort for Adbara he turned away and he strove in his disbelief right he he struggled he put in a lot of effort now now I'm going to disbelieve even more I'm going to be even more arrogant and more disbelieving more denying of the truth when it comes to me after having seen al ayat al kubra the great sign fahashara hashin ra is to gather right that's why one of the names of the day of judgment is al hashir the gathering right al the gathering fahashara Fanada. So he gathered and he called. Nada. The same Nada is up here. Fanada. And he called. He gathered his people. He gathered the magicians. He gathered. He gathered uh, uh, his army ready to fight. He gathered all of that. Fanada. So he called the people. Fakala. And he said, Anna. I. I. Rabbukumul A'la. I am your Lord the Most High. Ana Rabbukumul A'la. I am your Lord Al A'la, the Most High. Fa'akhadahu Allah. So Allah took him from Akhada to take him. Akhadahu Allah. Allah took him. Nakal. Nakal is the meaning of an example, but an example in punishment. He made him an exemplary punishment. An exemplary punishment. Al-Akhirati wal-Ula. Then the scholars of Tafsir have given this two different meanings. Al-Akhira meaning in the hereafter. He's a punishment, an example for the punishment in the hereafter. Wal-Ula. And in this life when he drowned him. Or they say it's two different punishments. Because the because. Fir'aun was also known to have say, I, he said in the Quran in another place, he said, I don't know that you have any other God than me. Right? I do not know that you have any other Lord besides me. He said, where's the ayah? He says, Ma'alimtu lakum min ilahin ghayri. He says in Surah Al-Taha, or Surah Surah uh, 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 Surah uh, Maryam Mutaha Surah Maryam He says in ayah 202 And I did not know that you have any God Ilahun ghayri Any God besides me I don't know you had any God besides me Right And earlier I said that was Behaqi's Tafsir and it's Qurtubi's About the difference between swimming Or the connection between swimming And making Tasbih That's Qurtubi and not al Behaqi I apologize it came to my mind so he made him an example for his first statement when he said, or his last statement rather, when he said, I am your Lord the Most High. And his first statement when he said, I don't know that you have any God besides me. Or he made him an example in the hereafter and in this life. Right? He made him an example in this life. Inna fi thalika la ibratan liman yaksha. Inna, indeed, fi thalika, in that. And this lamb is an emphasis there is an example, an ibra. Ibra is a an example, a something that you benefit from. There is an example for you, a lesson to be learned. Liman yaksha for whoever fears, meaning whoever fears their Lord. Any questions about the meanings of any of these words or their roots? Uh, as for the tafsir, then basically we already explained who the who the angels were, and that the there's a connection between this surah and the surah before it. The surah before it also talked about the resurrection heavily. It talked about the resurrection that they deny the resurrection, and here Eliza with Jell is further talking about how that resurrection is going to take place. That he's going to blow the trumpet once, and everything's going to die. He's going to blow it the second time, and everything's going to be resurrected. Right, and then he brings the story of Musa as an example for us, so that we can uh, avoid the pitfalls that Fir'aun fell into. Right, uh, so Allah 
the ben one benefit that we could talk about maybe from the tafsir is that when Allah commanded Musa alayhi salam to go to Fir'aun, he commanded him to go with kindness and softness. He didn't command him, even though he was the one of the greatest oppressors on the earth, if the, maybe not the greatest that ever lived. And he said that he was God. Yet Allah told him to talk, told Musa alayhi salam to talk to him with gentleness. So no matter what your brother or sister does, no matter what your brother or sister does, it cannot be greater than what Fir'aun has done. So when you advise them, advise them with gentleness and kindness, right? Uh, as for the tafsir, then that's pretty much uh, uh, the thing that Allah made them, made the story of Fir'aun an example for us, right? So that for whoever fears a lot, then he's an example for us so that we do not fall into it. Tayyip. Let's go and let's do the Arab as much as we can, huh? Surah so Al-Naziyat, we say already, Mudaf, Mudaf Ilay, right? And the sign of it being Mudaf Ilay is, right? The sign of it being Mudaf Ilay is, is uh, Majroor, or the Kasr Zahira. Uh, what is Surah then? Surah is your Khabar. And this is something like Hadihi Surah Tanazia. This is Surah Tanazia. It's a title, but it's like saying Hadihi Mubtada Marfu Surah Tanazia Khabar. Right? This is Surah Tanazia. Right? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. When Naziyati Gharqa, the wow is the wow of Qasim, the wow of swearing, the wow of swearing an oath, making the noun after it Majroor. Making the noun after it, Majroor, and Nazi'at is the, the noun which is Marfu, and it is sign of it is the Kasra. Right? Gharqa. Gharqa is Mansub because it is, there's a number of ways to look at it. It could be the Hal. It could be the Hal. Because this is how the angels are going in to snatch the souls out. They're they're diving deep in down into the body to take the soul out. Or it could be that there is a a verb missing, right? That is mahdhuf here, right? Sanugriku garqan, sanugriku garqan. So we're going to drown them a drowning and it, then it becomes my full and mutlaq there's a number of different ways the easiest way here for us to look at it is to say that it's a how how are the angels snatching garkan they're diving down to snatch it right what nashi taught the nashta wa is either a harf atf and therefore nashi taught is going to be ma'atuf to naziat meaning connected so therefore it's majroor or the wow is a wow custom again, causing nashi thought to be majroor. Either way, right? Nashta is going to be maf'ul and mutlaq. It's emphasizing the gentleness or the ease of them pulling it out, right? It is mensub because it's maf'ul and mutlaq, or it's the it is maf'ul and mutlaq for sure here because we don't have the we don't have a missing verb, right? Wasabihati sabha. Wasabihati, again, this could be a wa'ul qasim or a wa'ul atf. If it's a wa'ul atf, then this is ma'atuf. So therefore, it's majroor. If it's a wa'ul qasim, then it's majroor because of the wa'ul. Those angels which swim, sabha, a swimming. Maf'ulun mutlaq, mansub. Right? Maf'ulun mutlaq. Fasabiqati sabaqa. This fa is a harf atf. It's connecting. It's connecting these together. And so whatever happened to this one happens to this one, therefore it's majroor with a kasra. Sabaqa maful mutlaq mansub. Right? Falmudabirati Falmudabirati Amra. The fa here is your harf atf connecting these together. So it's majroor, right? Ma'atuf ala sabihat or ala sabiqat. And amra is a maf'ulun bihi. Amra is your maf'ulun bihi. And they're arranging what? They're taking care of what? The affair, the command. Right? Maf'ulun bihi, mansub with a fatta zahira. Any questions about those?
Yoma Tarjufu Rajifa Yoma is a Dharf as a man. It is Mansub. Dharf as a man, Mansub with a Fatta Dahira. Right? Tarjufu is a fil mudari. Fil mudari, a present tense verb. Marfu with a dhamma. Marfu with a dhamma. Right? The fa'il is following it. Right? The fa'il is following it. Ar-rajifa fa'il marfu wa dhamma dhahira. Wa tarjufu rajifa is in a position of being majroor together. These are a position of being majroor mudaf ilaytu yawm. Yawm tarjufu rajifa the day of the trumpet being blown. This is a mudaf mudaf ilay. Yawm tarjufu rajifa. Yawm tarjufu rajifa. Right? Tatba'uha. Tatba is a fil mudari. It is a fil mudari. Marfu wa dhamma. Marfu wa dhamma. Zahira. Ha is a damir mutasal. Mebni ala sukun. It's an attached pronoun. Mebni are always going to have that sukun. Fi mahala nasb maf'ulun bihi. Right? It's going to follow it. Follow what? Follow it. Follow it. It's the maf'ulun bihi. In the position of being mansub. Ar-radifa. Ar-radifa is your fa'il. Marfu wa dhamma. And that second blowing is going to follow it. This ha is referring back to. But let me erase some of this. This ha is referring back to. Ar-radifa. Tatba'u ha. Tatba'u ar-radifa. Ar-radifa. The radifa is going to follow it. Right, the radifa is going to follow the rajifa, and the rajifa, as we said, is the second blowing of the trumpet. Kulubun, hearts. Kulubun, right? Radifa, we said, was film uh, uh, is a fa'il marfu with a dhamma, right? With the apparent dhamma, zahira. Kulubun is a mubtada, is a mubtada. Kulubun yawma idhin wajifa. Kulubun mubtada marfu with dhamma zahira. Yawma, yawma is a dharf is a man, mansub as we can see. With a fatta zahira. Idh, idh is a here mudaf ilay. Idh here is mudaf ilay. Yawma idhin. Right, yawma idhin is mudaf ilay. Idh is normally Mebni ala sukun, but because it was placed in a position of being mudafile, then we can put the kasras there. Yo ma idin, the day when, right? Wajifa, wajifa, the hearts will be wajifa. Wajifa is a sifa for kulub. Kulubun wajifatun yo ma idin. On that day, the hearts will be wajifa. Rajifa is a sifa marfu because the noun that is describing. Kulub is marfu with dhamma zahira. Absaruha khashia. Absaruha absar is a mubtada marfu with a dhamma zahira. Absaruha ha is a demir mutasam mebni ala sukun fi mahal jar mudafilay. Its vision, its heart are their vision. Their, their vision, their eyes khashia. Khashia is khabar of absar. This is a mubtada. This is a khabar. Now, if you noticed, I said that kulub was a mubtada and I never mentioned a khabar. I never mentioned a khabar. And that is because absaruha khashia, right? Absaruha khashia, that is your khabar. Right, this is your khabar to kulub. This is your mubtada and this is your khabar. Inside this khabar, we have another mubtada and khabar. And that's how sentences work. So we have a mubtada, we have a khabar, and inside of this khabar, we have a mubtada and a khabar. That's how things work. Sometimes inside of a mubtada or sometimes inside of a khabar, we will have a fail and a file. Right? And a maf'ulun bihi. Sometimes that will take place. And together, they will be the khabar of the mubtada. That's how the grammar works. 
Whenever we have a mubtada, we have to have a khabar. And we had the mubtada qulub, the khabar of qulub, absaruha khashia. Any questions? No. Wajifa is a no. Qulubun wajifatun yawma idin. It is a sifa here. It is a sifa. It's a description of the hearts. Qulubun wajifatun absaruha khashia. The 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 tremoring or shaking or quaking hearts nervous agitated hearts right there what about the nervous and agitated hearts they are their 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 vision their their vision their seeing will be downcast humili you know humiliated that is translated as the arts are agitated on that thing it, it's possible yes to translate it like that's correct but but yeah, let me look in this uh, no problem uh, there uh, uh, many of these things as we described in, in a couple classes ago that many of these things the the arab of them is different about right the arab of them is different about when why is it mensub? it could be the hal it could be mafulun mutlaq with a fill which is mahdhuf it could be lots of things one of the things that I have coming up, if we reach that far, inshallah ta'ala, if we reach that far, it has seven different statements regarding why it is what it is. Right? In ayat 25, nakal. The word nakala, why is it mensub? There's seven different statements from the scholars of why it is mensub. Right? <laughs> so, there's obviously possibilities. But wajifa is either a sifa, Right? Or it is permissible to become, be, to be the khabar. It says here that some of the people says it is the khabar. But is but the first option they give you is the sifa. This other book I have, it only brings that it is a sifa. This book here, the bigger book, it brings that it is possible to be the sifa or the khabar. Right? So it could be, it could be hearts that day will be trembling. Or it could be trembling hearts that day, their vision will be downcast or humiliated it can be translated either way yaquluna let me see where I'm at yaquluna is a fil mudari right fil mudari marfu bi thubut noon the sign of it being marfu is the thubut noon the wow is the wow jama' and it is the fa'il here in the position of being marfu fa'il. Yaquluna. A inna. A is Hamza. This Hamza is Hamza al istifham. Hamza of seeking a question, but it's not really istifham. It is inkar with ta'ajjub, meaning they're they are not, they're asking a question, but it's not really seeking information. It's really uh, uh, being sarcastic, right? Are we really gonna be once we, once we? Uh, 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 they're not really wanting to know the answer. They're just being, right? They're just showing amazement and and denial. Are we really after we turn our bones turn to dust? We're gonna be resurrected, right? So this is the meaning of this ah here. Inna inna is a harful nasik nasp, right? It's going to make the noun after it mensub and the Khabar the, is going to make the mubtada mensub and the khabar is going to stay marfu. Na here, the na, right? In, this is a contraction of in na. This is making the mubtada mensub and this is your mubtada. Becomes ismu inna. Na is a damir muttasal mebni ala sakun fi mahal raf mubtada. It's in a position of being marfu as a mubtada. Right, a inna la marduduna. Lam here is the lamb of toki, the lamb of emphasis. Right, marduduna is your khabaru inna, marfu. Marfu, how is it marfu? Right, the sign of it being marfu is the wow. It's not mardu dina, but mardu duna. 
right? The sign of it being marfu is a wow. Mardu duna. Fil hafira. Fil is harf jar. And hafira is ismu majroor. Majroor with a kasra. Zahira. A idha kunna idhaman nakhira. A is again the same hamza of inkar with ta'ajjub. They're not really asking a question, even though it's worded as a question, it's really worded as sarcasm and amazement and denial. Either, right? Either is a dharf. It is a dharf of the future. When or if this happens, it shows a condition. Shart, right? Either. It is a dharf mensub. Right? Mensub. Even though it is mebni ala sakun. It's in a position of being mensub. Because dharfs are mensub. Kunna. Kunna is from kana. Right? Kunna is kana. Right? But or can plus na. But because we added these two together and we cannot have the two sakuns next to one another. It just becomes kunna, right? We have to learn the how to how to do the tasrif of the verb. Kunna can is a fil madi, right? Mebni ala sukun. It has a sukun on that first noon. Kunna, even though we don't write it like this, right? It's mebni ala sukun li itisalihi and na al fa'alin due to the na al fa'alin being attached to it, and the na al fa'alin. Is Mebni al is the mir muttasil Mebni al sakun fi mahal raf fa'il, right? Ida man, right? And na na is also na is also the ismu kana, ismu kana. So it is marfu. Wa ida man is khabaru kana, khabaru kana mansub bi fatha zahira. Nakhira is a sifa for ida man. This de decayed and, 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 and rotten is a sifa for the bones. So it's going to agree with it. In its case, it's going to be mensub with fata dahira. Any questions? Qalu, <laughs> they said, fil madhi, mebni ala dhamma, li ittisali hi wa biwal jama'ah. Qalu is a fil madhi, a past tense verb. Mebni ala dhamma. Why is it mebni ala dhamma? Because of the wow. And the wow is your file. Marfu. Right? Faqalu. Tilka. Tilka is an ismu ishara. Mubtada. In a position of being marfu. Ismu ishara. And of course, we're going to break tilka down into three different parts. Ta, lam, kaf. Right? We can break it down into three different parts. But for sake of ease here, we're just going to say Tilka's ismu ishara mebni ala fatta fi mahal raf mubtada. It's in a position of being the mubtada. Either is a jawab. Right? Is a jawab. Meaning, is this really going to be? They're asking a question. So, either, either, this is a response to if this is the case, then this. And there is no position of Arab here. It has no position. Either it's mebni ala sukun. That's it. Karratun is the khabr of tilka. Tilka is your mubtada. That is karratun. That is a return. That is a return. Mubtada tilka khabar. One second. Khabar is karratun. Karratun is your khabar, marfu with a dhamma, right? Zahira. Khasiratun is a sifa, a description of karra, so it's going to agree, being marfu with dhamma, zahira. Fa innama fa is a harf atf, or it could be described as a lot of things, harf atf here. Is just better for so for or there verily in the ma in the ma as a whole is a adat al hasr adat al hasr it is a particle of limitation that it's only this right for in the ma 
Hiya is a Damir Munfasal. It is a disconnected or a detached uh, uh, a detached pronoun, right? A detached pronoun. Fi mahala raf mubtada. In a position of being marfu because it is the mubtada. Fa inna hiya zajratun. It is a zajra. Zajra is your khabar. Marfu or a dhamma zahira. Wahida is a sifa of zajar. Therefore it's going to be marfu like it with a dhamma zahira. Fa idha hum bisahira fa is a fa showing continuation. Fa idha hum idha is a uh, there is no it is a, a particle here. It is mebni ala sukun. There is no i'rab to it. It's going to be fa idha hum hum here is your mubtada marfu it is a damir munfasal an attached pronoun fi mahala raf mubtada then they are hum. Bisahira, ba is a harf jar. Asahira is ismu majroor with a kasra, zahira. And bisahira is the khabar of home. This is a mubtada. This is the khabar. Any questions? We'll stop here just because that's a good stopping point from the meaning, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, and we'll meet tonight or this afternoon at 1.45 for those who you want to come so that we can try to finish this juz during Ramadan. And hopefully we'll be able to do so. Uh, Inshallah. So we're going to try our best to finish a Nazi act in that class. But Allah knows best how far we'll get. Inshallah ta'ala. Bye. Jazakum Allah khairan. Uh, if you guys have any questions and just bring them in that time or WhatsApp me, whatever the case is. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Shalla wa la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.